Virginia's largest city by population is battling a chronic water crisis. Not too little water, like some places, but too much. Virginia Beach faces the greatest risk for major flooding of any metro area on the East Coast because of more frequent and more destructive storms, along with rising sea levels. Existing stormwater infrastructure just can't keep up with it all. The flooding affects everyone citywide, turning Virginia Beach roads into streams, creating dangerous conditions for drivers, sometimes cutting off whole neighborhoods. Even on sunny days, high winds are known to trigger rising water. Small rainstorms often create minor flooding, but bigger storms bring so much water that they damage our homes, cars, and businesses. This recurrent flooding also threatens the health of the Virginia Beach economy. More than 15,000 civilian employees work at military bases here. Millions of tourists flock to our beaches and attractions every year. And major employers like Geico, Sentara, and Steel gravitate here, enjoying the low cost of doing business in Virginia Beach. But they all have one thing in common, a need for passable roads and a community safe from floods. FEMA analysis projects that up to one in every 10 buildings in Virginia Beach is currently at risk of damage if a large storm hit today. That number climbs to one in four when combined with a sea level rise of one and a half feet. And the risk of damage jumps to two out of every three buildings, including homes, if the sea level rises three feet. Virginia Beach is tackling flooding head on. The city is already investing more money in stormwater projects than any other area. During the November 2021 general election, City Council authorized a bond referendum question to address the threat, and voters showed overwhelming support with a 73% yes vote. The result is an aggressive, multi-generational flood protection program to speed up existing flood and stormwater controls while adding new projects as well. City leaders believe the flood protection program will have a ripple effect that safeguards homes, protects businesses, and responsibly addresses stormwater issues for generations to come. Phase one implementation of the Flood Protection Program includes all of the projects funded by the bond referendum. These and other associated efforts are now grouped into seven master projects. They will be built over the next 10 years on a timeline far shorter than earlier schedules, all to provide Virginia Beach with fiscally sustainable long-term flood protection. Support for the bond referendum represents an informed decision by both voters and the city council to invest in the future of Virginia Beach. The city will report back to Virginia Beach residents, tracking progress, schedules, and budgets. Here is an overview of the seven master projects implemented under phase one of the flood protection program. First, in the Linkhorn Bay drainage basin, Improvements along First Colonial Road and Oceana Boulevard include building a new stormwater management facility to divert stormwater and provide more runoff storage. Improvements in the SeaTac neighborhood include installing or replacing large drainage pipes to collect more runoff. And in the Central Resort District, projects include drainage improvements at the intersection of 21st and Baltic Avenue, replacing an undersized culvert at 24th Street, construction of major stormwater collection systems, pump stations, and an ocean outfall system to combat flooding. Next, along Eastern Shore Drive, residents will notice improvements in stormwater collection and four new pump stations, widening and deepening of the Cape Henry Canal, and street drainage improvements along North Shore Drive and Cape Henry Drive. And in the Lake Bradford and Chubb Lake project area, look for drain and culvert improvements tide control devices, and new retention and detention ponds, along with new pump stations. In the Southern Rivers watershed, the plan calls for new floodgates and levees at the West Neck Creek Bridge, a part of the city's sea-level-wise adaptation strategy and raising Pungo Ferry Road, 
and making improvements to the Sandbridge Newbridge intersection. Stormwater green infrastructure work includes a marsh restoration project in Back Bay and a wetland and floodplain restoration project along the eastern branch of the Elizabeth River. In the Windsor Woods, Princess Anne Plaza, and the Lakes neighborhoods, plans call for new tide gates, pub stations, flood barriers, and storm drains. The Bow Creek Golf Course will be converted into a park with stormwater storage, and flood protection improvements will be made at Thalia Creek and Lake Trashmore. To learn more about the Virginia Beach Flood Protection Program, visit www.vbgov.com slash ripple effect. <laughs>